Welcome back to Project 613. A while back, we learned the mitzvah of transactions. That is the Torah's laws governing buying or selling and when and how a transaction becomes formal. Now, within the umbrella of this mitzvah, there is an additional set of laws that Maimonides talks about, and that is the laws of shluchim v'shutvin, literally agents or partners. So today we'll talk about agents. When someone appoints an agent, when someone appoints someone to act on their behalf, either to buy something for them or to sell something for them. In halacha, this is called a shliach, a messenger, someone who's acting on my behalf to do something for me. And we're talking specifically over here in the context of business dealings. The Torah considers an, in, uh, an agent as the extension of the sender. So when the agent actually performs the sale, either sells something on behalf of his sender or buys something on behalf of his sender, even if the sender is not present, the transaction is considered complete as long as the shliach, as long as the messenger has actually done as he was instructed. Now, what happens if a messenger changes from his instructions and doesn't exactly do as he was instructed, rather he spends more money or he spends less money and he doesn't exactly buy or sell as he was instructed. In such a case, his transaction is considered void because his messenger will tell him that I sent you in order to do as you are told, not to do what you thought, but rather to do as you are instructed. And since the instruction was not followed through, so in such a case, the transaction would be void. But in general, when a messenger does keep the instruction that he was given, then the Torah considers his act as the act of his messenger and the transaction is considered valid at that moment. Um, in general, in order to appoint a messenger, one doesn't even have to have witnesses. As long as I verbally tell someone that they are acting on my behalf, that is enough to make them into my messenger. Of course, if later it will need to be verified, then for that there would need to be witnesses. Uh, but the actual uh, making someone into an agent on your behalf, that itself doesn't require witnesses. There is a whole discussion, of course, uh, what level of responsibility an agent has if he is handling his sender's money and if something goes wrong on the way, if something gets lost, if something gets stolen, or if there's some other kind of accident, what level of responsibility the agent would bear. And over here, we would go back, the rules that would be followed would be the exact same rules which we've discussed previously on what happens if someone deposits money by someone else to watch. And there are various degrees of responsibility depending on if the person is being paid for the job, if they're doing it as a favor, and so on. And the same thing would apply in this case of a shliach, of a messenger. The levels of responsibility would vary based on if he's doing it for free or if he's being paid to do the job. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.